The Star Wars Rebels Season 2 finale, Twilight of the Apprentice, was an explosive event. It was filled with climactic jaw-dropping moments that were essential for the series. Twilight of the Apprentice paid off on years of buildup from Star Wars The Clone Wars and it was a defining and impactful event for some of the franchise's most iconic characters such as Ahsoka, Vader, and Maul. It was emotional, it was intense, it was the episode you were looking for. Let us examine five of the most intense moments from the episode. Number one, the return of Maul. So now in this episode, we find out what Maul has been doing after suffering a crushing defeat at the hands of Darth Sidious. We find him stuck on Malachor, waiting for an opportunity to enter the Sith Temple so as to obtain the power he seeks to exact revenge upon his enemies. Maul's reintroduction was very Yoda-like with the use of a cane in his old man demeanor. Maul seizes the chance he has been waiting for when he encounters Ezra who is also on Malachor seeking knowledge to defeat Vader and his Inquisitor henchmen. Maul goes on to befriend, manipulate, and ultimately betray the Jedi thus revealing his true plot to use the Sith Temple as a weapon of destruction against his enemies and also claim Ezra as his apprentice. After the rebels foil his plan, Maul manages to escape in one of the fallen Inquisitor's TIE Fighters. Where would he end up after that? We're not certain, but we will see him again. Number 2 the death of the fifth brother and the seventh sister. The fifth brother and the seventh sister have harassed and chased the rebels like a pack of dark side bloodhounds. Ironically, they met their eventual and quick demise not by the hands of a light sided Jedi, but by fellow dark side club member Maul. Maul cuts them down quickly and without mercy. Will we see more Inquisitors? I highly doubt it. I think we'll see a different villain, but I think we'll have to wait and see what season 3 brings. Number 3. Kanan is blinded. Kanan is left completely blind after the cunning Maul damages Kanan's eyes with his lightsaber immediately after he drops his ruse and shows his true colors. Nonetheless, by way of giving himself over to the Force, Kanan is still miraculously able to defeat Maul. Whatever happens, Kanan has a very difficult path ahead of him in Season 3 and possibly onward. It will either make him stronger or destroy him. Will this allow Maul or someone else an opportunity to slip in and possibly corrupt Ezra? We'll have to see in Season 3. Number 4. Ezra is tempted by the dark side. Ezra has been tempted by and has even used the dark side in the past. However, in the finale, there were moments where he fully embraced his anger and hatred. Ezra utilizes the dark side in order to gain access to a Sith holocron that he ultimately opens during one of the last scenes of the episode. This is a feat that can only be accomplished by employing the dark side. Season 3 is likely to address Ezra's inner struggle. We can only hope Ezra's good nature wins out in the end. For more on this subject, check out my video asking the question, Will Ezra turn to the dark side? Number 5. You know what it is. Ahsoka Tano and Darth Vader finally duel. I am a huge Ahsoka Tano fan. When we meet Ahsoka in the Clone Wars, she's probably about 13 to 14 years old, maybe younger. So to have her now face possible death at the hands of someone who was like a big brother was very heart-wrenching. I still watch the Clone Wars with my children. Therefore, I still largely see Ahsoka as that precocious Padawan we met in the Clone Wars. Nonetheless, from the onset when Ahsoka was revealed to be Fulcrum, we knew that this fateful moment would be coming. We all knew that there would be no redemption for Darth Vader at this point in time given the events of Episodes 4 through 6. Be that as it may, when Ahsoka shredded Vader's mask to reveal Anakin Skywalker, I'm sure most of us hoped that Vader would cease in his bloodlust against Ahsoka. But when his lightsaber ignited, all glimmers of pointless hope vanished. We later see Vader dragging himself from the temple, and then we see what clearly is Ahsoka descending back into the building. Is she alive? 
Is she a part of the Force? Either way, if you believe Ahsoka lives or if you believe she is dead, hopefully we will find out something concrete when Star Wars Rebels returns for Season 3 in the fall. Leave a comment below and tell me your favorite moments from the Season 2 finale. Also, do you think Ahsoka is alive or dead? What do you think happened to her? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, tell me what are your predictions for Season 3 of Star Wars Rebels. Please subscribe, like, and share. Join me for new videos every week. Also, check out my videos entitled, Will Ezra Turn to the Dark Side? and my frame-by-frame -frame breakdown of the Rogue One teaser trailer. The links will be in the description box below along with links to other videos. Please turn on the notifications to my channel so that you can know when I make new videos. I greatly appreciate your time. Have a great day or night. I am John Armstrong Media and I approve this message.